Welcome back to 843 TV. It's always exciting to be over here in Beaufort and we are at the landing pad at the Digital Corridor and joining us is Mayor Stephen Murray. Thank you for coming today. Oh, thanks for having me on. It's always great to have you on all of our shows. Today we're going to talk about the facility right here. Yep. As we said, we're in the upstairs level, brand new and beautiful. Tell us about the purpose of this. Yeah, so one of the things I'm most passionate about is economic development yep. here in the city. And you know, the city's involved because we're trying to create a different type of economic opportunity, a different type of job for those of us who have to work for a living. Um, hopefully that has a wage that allows us to, to thrive. Uh, which has been a challenge for us being yeah. sort of solely service industry de dependent. Um, so this is the landing pad. We just finished this. It's been a really great partnership between the city of Beaufort, uh, the Beaufort County Economic Development Corporation, the Southern Carolina Alliance, the Digital Corridor, um, Hargrave Telecommunications. So a mm. lot of folks uh, are involved in this to, yeah. to get us open. Um, but essentially the landing pad is um, uh, a way for us to help get international companies or companies from the Northeast that need a place to land, mm -hmm. um, either while they're building their larger facility somewhere else in our region, or if they just want to sort of try it before they buy it. Yeah. Um, and so you probably saw the announcement, I think you have Sky, William from SkyDrive on, mm -hmm. uh, a Japanese company that's moving into the, the domestic market. And so super excited about having SkyDrive here. Um, and so that's exactly what we're trying to do. SkyDrive wants to move into the domestic market. They need resources, they need a place to land. And so that's what, really what this facility is all about. Yeah, so somewhere great for them to analyze the area. And as we, like you said, we talked to William earlier and he loved it first shot. He said he doesn't go, need to go anywhere else, right? Well, we, we love that kind of <laughs> we love that kind of confidence. Certainly, I'm a, I'm a little biased as a you know a manufacturer and as the mayor. Yeah. Um, but we understand that time is is money, mm -hmm. um, and so our goal is to try to make a relocation into our region as you know swift, as simple, and as certain as, as possible. Um, and to connect people with the right resources so they can get up and, and be successful. And we've been partnering with you all for years here on the station, and we've learned about the economic, the shift in that development from service oriented mm -hmm. to, as you say, more of an industry. And that's just overall, give us a snapshot of, of where that is. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say it's 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 not about displacement, right? It's about augmentation. And I make this, this uh, you know, this metaphor about a stool. We're a two-legged economic stool. We've got the military, mm -hmm. two, two plus billion dollars of economic impact. We've got tourism, another two plus billion dollars worth of economic impact. Uh, but the two-legged stool is not very sustainable. Um, so what we're trying to do is add that third leg around advanced manufacturing, around technology. Again, uh, industry and businesses that bring dollars into our region to expand the economic pie, but also to provide really great jobs for our people. And in the last four or five years, um, as the kids would say, we are just killing it. Yes. Um, you know, <laughs> folks like John and Charlie that run the Economic Development Corporation. Uh, you got Jess and the board of directors downstairs at the Buford Digital Corridor, our friends at the Southern Carolina Alliance. It really has been a team effort. And in the last five years, we've done uh, just over a quarter of a billion dollars worth of capital investment countywide over a thousand committed jobs. And I believe the, the new wage numbers, and John and Charlie correct me on this, I think we're at somewhere around $47,000, $48,000 a, a year. Um, just in the city, we filled nine vacant industrial buildings. Our oh. spec building is almost filled out in the Beaufort Commerce Park. Um, so arguably we have the most successful economic development initiative in, in our county's history right now. It's finally moving the needle and diversifying our economy and creating really great jobs for our people. That's so exciting. Let me ask you a question. As you develop all these jobs, what about the housing market? That's a topic that's discussed a lot. How is that going to keep up? Absolutely. And so the, the good news is similar to economic development, using that model of getting everybody in the room together and figuring out how we leverage our individual resources for greater accomplishment of our goals. Um, we've been working with uh, eight other jurisdictions, including Jasper County and Hardyville. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're very close to uh, creating an affordable housing trust uh, which will leverage uh, public monies to help spur affordable workforce housing across the region. Um, will also give us a, an expert, similar to John and Charlie, but in the housing space that can help bring partners and, and players together. Specifically to the city, we've uh, allocated a million dollars worth of ARPA money uh, to help that process. And we just wrapped up an affordable housing task force that has 24 recommendations. And so now we're getting to work and taking those recommendations and executing them into, into policy. Wow. So it's been an exciting time as mayor. You're a third year now? No, I'm less than two years in. Less than two years. Okay, well, it's not too far off. So you've come in at a great time with so much advancement, so much future ahead. That's got to be exciting. Well, I've, you know, I've come in at a challenging time. I ran in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, with uh, COVID, some see it as a silver lining. Some see it as maybe a curse. It's really accelerated 
uh, growth in our area with folks relocating, which has caused issues on our housing, mm -hmm. uh, caused issues with transportation infrastructure. Um, and so I, I feel blessed and honored to be mayor, uh, but the challenges are, are great. Um, but I also feel blessed that I work with a really remarkable team of people, both internally to the city and then with a bunch of strategic allies um, and feel like while we talk a lot about the issues, we are making significant progress and actually fixing some of these problems that our community is dealing with. Yes, yeah, so you're taking action, you're not just discussing them, solutions. And that's what uh, everyone that like you said is community is getting together, rallying around, and you've got wonderful facilities popping up and places to do them like right here. Last uh, few tips before we close about uh, what that you want to share what's happening in Beaufort. Yeah, I, you know, again, it's a really exciting time. Um, I, you know, as a third generation native, the growth sometimes is, you know, brings me a little anxiety. Uh, but I remind myself, if you drive through South Carolina, you drive through certain parts of the Midwest, um, there are a lot of places that are in decline. And so I'm a believer that growth is better than decline. Of course. And that we mm -hmm. shouldn't take it for granted. It's really about how do we work together um, to create a better balance in our community ecosystems and how do we leverage our resources and our wisdom to, to achieve, you know, achieve a future that's going to be different than our past, right? But I think if we play our cards right, we can achieve a future that's even more remarkable than our, you know, than our past and our present and, and help us move us closer to our preferred future. Um, and so that's the conversations that I really enjoy, again, working with some really smart people um, of how we use the resources that we have from this growth um, to, to make this place you know, even better than it is today. Well, Mayor, your passion surely shows for the city and for the people and for the future. So we thank you for always talking with us and you all stay right here. We'll be back with more 843 TV.